Along his garment is an X, in between an alpha and omega representation. As we looked at mirrored images of left and left and right, right, we noted this symbolism again about alpha and omega, this time adding in the chi with the X across his garment. Additionally, it all begs the question, why the stars not only are encrypting within it the angle of the Great Pyramid and the Templar Cross, but additionally, why is it pointing to the constellation of Leo? And Leo being a representation of the Great Sphinx, which has been a long mystery since well before the time of Edgar Cayce, but including that time through to today, many around the world believe that there is a hall of records that has been kept through antiquity to today that is found potentially underneath the left paw of the Great Sphinx. Having made several groundbreaking discoveries of numerous enigmatic encryptions within the works of Leonardo da Vinci, Robert Grant is keen to also share what he believes are the greater esoteric implications of these discoveries, especially in relation to the alchemical path. We've all been taught throughout our lives that there is a stark separation between learning and spirituality. Unless, of course, we're studying spirituality. But we don't necessarily believe that there is a direct connection between the study of mathematics and spirituality. We also don't believe that science and physics will lead to higher spiritual awareness. And vice versa, we don't believe that higher spiritual awareness will lead to higher understanding of mathematics and physics, for example. Or that somehow music is relational to physics and chemistry. And yet, we now know that the geometric forms that we see resident within all of the elements that represent the universe around us are actually just musical representations that we experience through the sense of our eyes and sometimes through the sense of touch. But what if all of it was really truly connected into one whole and holistic experience? Would that not be holy? As we look at the alchemical process and what these ancient cryptographers left behind for us to learn and glean through all their many teachings and wisdom lectures that emanated first from the Egyptian mystery schools along the banks of the Nile River in Egypt, back as well to the Library of Alexandria. As we start to understand what is the teaching of alchemy and what is hermetic wisdom, we realize that in fact, we cannot separate learning and education from spirituality. It is only us who has created an artificial boundary of perception. Once we get to the stage where we can see the higher wisdom and the higher knowledge, we no longer want to take sides in this game of polarity and right and wrong. It's a transcendence moving away from the need to be and feel right to the acceptance that the only thing that we really desire is to come to the right answers. The ego is stripped from us and we've integrated our own shadow perspectives. The alchemical path and journey is an inward one. It requires no one else. It leads us to have to ask more fundamental questions about our own reality. Maybe in this mind matrix that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis, the answers are really found within.